guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I had so much fun doing my last back to school lunch video that I decided to do another one. The response was great. You guys wanted to see more. I got a bunch of messages to please do more of them. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some more lunch ideas. Now, these ideas can be for your kids, your husband, yourself, kids of all ages. These are just random lunch ideas that I either pack for my son, I make for myself, or make for my husband. I just kind of wanted to get creative and give you guys some new ideas because as I mentioned in the last video like this, we all get stuck in a rut of what to pack, what to eat ourselves, and we get in the routine sometimes of packing and eating the same things over and over. So hopefully this video will give you some more ideas and inspiration for things that you can pack for both your kids, yourself, your partner, whatever the case may be. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. I upload several times a week. I have all different content ranging from food and domestic. I do a lot of hauls and meal planning, cleaning videos, all, all kinds of good stuff like that. So if that sounds like something you wanna be a part of, definitely subscribe before you leave. Have a great day and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye guys. So for this first lunch idea, I wanted to share with you guys um, my six compartment yum box, which I have for my son. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on this because I did do a whole separate review back over the summer, but these are awesome because all the compartments are completely separated. So if you have something like yogurt or applesauce or pudding, it will not touch at all or affect anything else. They're all completely separate. Also, there is this really strong silicone seal. So when you close the yum box, it's not what you can put it on its side, you can tip it over, nothing is gonna leak. It's all really nicely sealed here with this silicone top. So in this lunch today for my son, I have, these are the Annie's brand mini pizzas. They're just small little like bagel bite pizzas. So there's just two in here. I baked them off earlier this morning and they're just at room temperature, which is fine. He seems to do okay with room temperature pizza. So I have two little pepperoni ones here. Over here I have some of the ranch veggie um, straws, which just look like this. They come in all different flavors now. They have the ranch, honey mustard, cheddar, original. There might even be another one. Um, but these are really good, especially for those um, who have kids who don't really like to eat vegetables like my son. So I just have some of the Zesty Ranch veggie straws here, the Annie's Pizza. This is some of the, I believe it's Oscar Mayer, the all natural turkey breast that I just put four pieces in here. We have some Mott cinnamon applesauce in here. Again, it won't affect any of the other components because it's completely separate. In this little treat section or dip section, I just put one of these little um, Justin's brand. They are the milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but a more healthy version, I guess. So I just put one of those in there as a little treat. And then in this back longer compartment, I have some birthday cake flavored little bites. These are by Hostess, so they are the same concept as the regular little bites, but these are actually made with more whole grain. Apparently, that's what the package said. So again, these are the birthday cake um, little bites. So this is his lunch today. I'm just gonna give him a little tiny little water, and he always takes a kind of reusable Contigo ice water cup as well on the side of his lunch box. And this is the first lunch idea in this video. So the next idea I wanna share with you is a hot lunch idea. I'm using this little stainless thermos, which I touched on in my last lunch idea video. So in here, I have four of these little Nathan's pigs in a blanket. I'm just gonna take these out, my hands are clean, um, because I wanna share with you guys, on the bottom, I have a bunch of tater tots. There's actually 12 tater tots hiding under these two little pigs in a blanket. It's very hot. Um, I just cooked all these together on a little baking sheet like this, sprayed with a little coconut oil. So I have, again, four of these little pigs in a blanket, just little beef hot dogs wrapped in like some crescent um, dough. So there's tater tots on the bottom, pigs in a blanket on top. I'm just gonna put this lid on and it'll stay nice and hot. I also have a little container here with a lid for some ketchup if he wants to dip. And these, I touched on these in my last video as well, are a lifesaver for condiments or candy, so many different things, um, dressings. So I love those, so I'm using the little one for ketchup. He's also gonna have, um, take his swell bottle today. This is a nine ounce swell bottle with some ice water in it. 
I'm gonna give him a banana, one of these Yum Earth organic fruit snacks, a little Justin's uh, peanut butter cup as a treat, and then some pretzels as well. So this is a nice lunch idea for, again, your child, yourself, your husband, um, especially in the colder months, it's nice to have something hot, and these actually keep your food hot for about five hours. So that is the no uh, lunch idea number two. Okay, wanting to share a lunch idea before I pack it up. So I made some chicken salad. I just do it very simple. I just use white meat chicken, some Hellman's mayo, some salt and pepper, some chopped up celery, some chopped up onion, and call it a day. So I just took a green spinach tortilla wrap. I just put the chicken salad down the center, rolled it up, and then I just cut it into like, not bite size guys, but like more kid size, easier to handle. Um, if you're making this for an adult, um, my son just won't eat the lettuce and tomato, but normally like if I was making these for me, I'd put lettuce and tomato and maybe even some onion in there. So that's just an, ad an adult option, unless your kids obviously eat lettuce, tomato, and onion. And if so, I'm jealous. Um, but yeah, I just cut them up, and then I just cut them into, like I said, like more easier to hold pieces for little hands. My son is only four. Um, and again, this is, all these can be for you, for your spouse, you know, lunch ideas for yourself at home, if you work at home or stay at home. So I just have that in this little Tupperware. It actually looks like a lot, but it's really not, guys, because it's cut up so small. Um, so I have that in here. Just got to put the lid on there. Bottle of water ready to go. I have to fill up his water bottle. These little containers I absolutely love. I recently found them at Target. They look like this. I wanted to share them with you. They are the Up and Up brand from Target, and they are called Mini Oval. So it comes with eight containers with lids. They are dishwasher and microwave and freezer safe, which is really cool. Um, so they look like this. They're just a perfect little portion. This is like three large strawberries cut up in here, just some organic strawberries. I just cut them up, pop the lid on, perfect side. Um, one of these milk chocolate jello puddings with a spoon, some um, organic gummy bears, which these are pretty much fruit snacks. I think they call it gummy bears to market it as candy, but they do not taste like candy. They taste like fruit snacks. And then some Pirate's Booty white cheddar, and this is his lunch today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, I also wanted to share some kind of different snack options um, because there are days, maybe one to two days a week where my son eats the hot lunch at school, which is pizza day or like popcorn chicken or chicken finger day. So on those days, he only needs to bring a drink and a snack. So I wanted to share with you four easy snack options. You can make these up ahead of time. And again, they could be for yourself to throw in your lunch for work. You could even make them up and keep them in your fridge at home. That is what I do sometimes. Um, they're also great if you're packing, again, your spouse's, your husband's lunches, things like that. So we love tortilla chips in this house. We love chips and salsa. So I will make up just a few simple bags. You can use any kind of chips that you like. Um, so I'll make up some bags with corn chips. The nice thing about these ideas is they give you portion control. So you can see how much you're eating and you're not going to eat the whole bag, which I have been known to do. So I have some corn chips in here. I'm utilizing one of those oval containers, again, the Target Up and Up brand. And here I have some Newman's Own Pineapple Salsa, which is super yummy. It's my favorite, one of my favorite salsas for sure um, from the store. So I make up sometimes some containers like this and then I'll have bags of chips ready to go. Again, the nice thing is you can see how much you're eating and when they're gone, they're gone. So these are a nice option to make up. Oldie but goodie. My mom made these up all the time. It's just simple carrots and celery with peppercorn ranch dressing. You could also do a side of peanut butter dip. You could also do any dressing that you like. You could do cream cheese. Pretty much sky's the limit. So I make up these all the time. Carrots, celery, sometimes I will do red peppers, green peppers, and I'll cut them into strips. Again, any dressing that you like, you could do peanut butter, you could do cream cheese, whatever you are in the mood for. So I make these up sometimes. I just made six bags of these up last weekend. Another option, I love hummus. Here is some Sabra hummus. This is a roasted red pepper Sabra hummus. Again, I'm using these oval containers. They are machine washable or dishwasher safe like I mentioned. So I have that in here. And then I just put a little snack size bag with some of the ranch veggie straws. 
and then just some little plain old breadsticks and then I can dip these in the hummus. This is a really portable one. I have brought I have brought these with me to pick up my son from school when I have like a 20 minute wait in the car and I will kind of snack on this in the carpool line. So that's another little option. And then another oldie but goodie, you can do some pretzel sticks, which are low fat. You can do a cheese stick, any kind that you like. These bags I made up for my husband, so I've got pretzels, cheese sticks, and then just some simple pepperoni. You could also use turkey pepperoni, which I use sometimes. And there you go. So here are four easy snack options. Again, you can make all of them ahead, and I feel like a lot of different people would like these. So hopefully this gives you guys a little inspiration as well. Okay guys, so lastly I wanted to share with you guys an idea for those who don't have the yum boxes or the boxes with, which have all the different compartments. We all have Tupperware, right? So this is just like a sandwich size Tupperware, normal, nothing, you know, no frills, just a top and a container, no compartments. So you guys can create your own little sort of bento box in here by putting a variety of things. So this is kind of like a complete lunch in this container. Again, it's just one open compartment. So I have one of these Uncrustables in here. We eat these all the time. My husband brings either grape, strawberry, or the hazelnut one for lunch every day. Um, he usually has it as like a late morning snack. I grab these all the time and throw them in my bag, like when I'm going to the carpool line, when I have a half an hour to wait in the car. They thaw out in no time. But on days when maybe you need something more than just the Uncrustable, I just take one. You could also make a quick peanut butter and jelly or any kind of sandwich that you want. But I just took an Uncrustable here and just cut it in half, so just so it fits a little bit better. I put one half here and one half, half kind of standing up. I used one of those little containers. I just have some roasted salted almonds in here. So nice little way to get a little bit of protein. And then I just set that right next to the sandwich. I have a cheese stick in here. I have a granola bar in here. I have a Welch's strawberry fruit snack in here. I have a little sweet treat in here, just a little peanut butter cup. And then I have some cut up sweet red peppers. You could also probably even fit a little side, another one of these um, with dressing in here if you wanted to dip them. I just happen to like red peppers just plain as is. And all this stuff, this is a good amount of food, you know, fits right in here perfectly. Um, and again, you could probably maneuver another one of these in here um, with some dip if you maneuvered it kind of in here. And the top fits perfectly. It closes just fine. I would just grab a drink. This is like a great on the go little way to bring a whole little lunch for yourself or your child um, or just even throw this whole thing in your kid's backpack or whatever the case may be. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little idea to not, to not forget about these regular old Tupperware containers that are just one compartment because you can fit a lot of different things in here and make it your own. You could do leftovers, obviously. You could do like pasta salad or any kind of little toss salad on the side and then use little containers to keep things separate. Like if you wanted to do a nice salad and then maybe a couple of these with like nuts or trail mix, um, dried fruit, something like that. You can really make these your own little bento box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second video in in my kind of lunch idea back to school lunch idea video if you want me to continue doing these just comment down below and let me know I'm happy to do them for you and I hope it gave you some inspiration have a great day and I'll see you guys very soon bye guys mm -hmm.